how are you doing guys welcome back to my tutorials and today we are going to talk about polymorphism if you're new here welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can get videos like this every time i release a new video but without further ado let's get into the video Polymorphism is the condition of occurring in several different forms. So let's go ahead and find out what is polymorphism in object-oriented programming. Polymorphism is the capability of a method to do different things based on the object that it is acting on. In other words, polymorphism allows you to define an interface and have multiple implementations. So I think this will be more clear if we get into an example and try to elaborate it. Let me just go ahead and create a new project very quickly. Go to your IntelliJ, click create new project. It's a Java project. Next. Then click that. Go to next. Polymorphism and finish. Right now here on our IntelliJ, we are going to create a new a new class right here under your company name and create a new class. Let's call it laptop. Okay, this is the parent class. And then on this particular class, just want to have a method, which is returning void, which means it doesn't have a return value. And we can put one of the attributes of these laptops, uh, which is hard disk. We can call it hard disk space or even better capacity, okay? All right, and then we just want to print out the hard disk. All right, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and create another class called HP, okay, which is one of the laptops, child class. All right, perfect. And now on this child class, remember we want to, to print out or we want to calculate the, the hard disk space of this HP. All right, we can create a method public void hard disk capacity. All right, and we want to return hard disk space of HP is 500 MB, for instance. Okay. And then we create another class called Lenovo. Okay. And pretty much we should have the same attribute with HP, okay? So that we try to achieve uh, polymorphism. And we only change this part to Lenovo. And this part, we can say 250 megabytes. Okay, that's perfect. So, first of all, let's just assume we didn't have the parent class, which is a laptop, okay? Uh, so that I can show you at the same time what's the importance of polymorphism. So, assuming uh, we only have HP and Lenovo, and both of them have got the same attribute, which is hard disk. We want just to call this so that we can see the results of each. So let's go ahead and create an instance here 
of HP, both HP and Lenovo equals to new HP. There you go, and then we just want to say HP dot hard disk capacity, okay? And we want to do the same for Lenovo. So we say Lenovo, Lenovo equals to new Lenovo, okay? And then we call the we call the public method disk capacity, okay? So if we run this, so both of them are going to produce or to print out the, their capacities. Yeah, there you go. The hard disk of uh, space of HP is 500 and Lenovo is 250. However, you realize that we have similar methods on these two classes, which is kind of repetitive. So to avoid this, um, assuming you have other methods such as public void is SSD or not, something like that. Um, we also have other method which prints out the screen size and so on and so forth. And all these methods are attributes of both Lenovo and HP. So instead of having these attributes uh, repeated on these two classes, we can just have one class, which is the parent class, having these attributes, okay, uh, such as that, and then extend them on um, the child classes. So this will extend laptop. And then you can now add another annotation which is override and then you'll be able to override this method right here let's see what happens for instance if we just extend uh, for hp and we want to calculate the size of hp so this uh, this is it so you realize that um, when we go to the main method and we call this HP, it will print out whatever we have in HP. So let's find out. Let's run this, see what happens. So unless you call this class, this won't be printed if you just call HP. Let's go ahead and, and try to produce the printout from that class, which is laptop. Laptop equals to new laptop. Laptop dot hard disk capacity. Let's run it again. And there you go, the hard disk and then the rest. However, the best way to represent this, um, even if you have other methods here, unless you want to do some uh, logic on the parent class then you don't need to to add anything here you can actually uh, remove that and also remove the body and then change the class to an interface okay now let's do the same for this okay and is ssd we can change it to boolean all right let's try to to do the same for for this uh, boolean and now instead of extends uh, we can say implements because it's an interface okay and now if we have to implement then we need to override that and then return can say return true and then for this one we also need to overwrite and then we can print out let's just copy this right here has ssd and then copy this to here and and say screen size equals to 13 inches okay so we can do the same for lenovo 
then implement a laptop then change this to Lenovo and the same for this okay and we are done and now we cannot instantiate laptop and now we have HP and Lenovo so let's try to run it again and there you go so in short all all of these methods are here okay we can remove the word public we don't require it uh, all, all of these methods are on laptop and we just override them uh, according to our need and put the logic for HP and the logic for Lenovo okay that's a simple implementation of polymorphism and this is what we call overriding so polymorphism comes in two ways one is overriding and the other one is overloading method overloading method overloading it's simply having one method name but receiving different attributes or returning different things so um le let me just show you in an example so assuming here on hp we also have public int calculate calculate speed something like that okay and we pass in int in some attributes okay and then we say in speed equals to some attribute and then return int all right return speed sorry and just to uh, to make sure that we we capture this we capture what the speed is or what method is being called then uh, we can print out the speed right here equals to and then we just add calculate speed and then we uh, we pass int speed right here and then speed okay and then we add another method down here for, for something else let's change the screen size to get speed or actually we can we can turn this this method to the main let's just put it here go back to hp do away with that and then right here just put it under each method okay and then change this to speed and then change this to speed all right and then right here we can put actual speed and it should be an int as well and then we can say speed in speed equals to some attribute plus actual speed okay so you realize that the method name is the same as this one so if we come here try to call this method um, hp dot calculate speed then it depends on whatever we pass through right in the arguments so if we want to uh, use the first method for instance we just want to pass three which is an int then it will automatically take this method and not the second one because the second one receives two arguments and just to be sure um, let's go ahead and uh, try if it prints out three okay so let's run this and there you go so this is what we call method overloading we're using the same name for two or more different methods but it depends on whatever we are passing in the arguments or whatever we are returning so if i just add another attribute here uh, sorry another argument here like four then it should print three plus four which is seven so 
automatically it picks this method and this is what we call method overloading so there you have polymorphism so now at least you have a better understanding of polymorphism which is the condition of occurring in several different ways like for instance uh, this is the same method name but uh, doing two different things and the other one we had one method but it's been overridden in two different classes and in these two different classes returning two different results according to that class so that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that you can support me and see you next time